the the tuner portion of it and that's a whole nother thing if somebody hands you a manual tuner it's got a whole bunch of knobs on it you have no idea what they're what they're for what they do how they work or anything like that and what do you do and so I guess the first thing is that there's no such thing as an antenna tuner. You're not tuning the antenna. What you're doing is you're matching the impedance that the antenna presents to what the radio wants to see. And the antenna is not changing one bit. All you're doing is putting a little bit more, think of it more like the transmission in your car about how it changes the power delivered from the engine to the rotating force that moves the wheels along the ground. There's some device in between that makes those two work out pretty well because you don't want to take all 300 horsepower in your car and dump it immediately on the pavement when your car's not moving that's that's going to be a problem um mm. so it's kind of the same thing with your antenna and your antenna matching unit is what we really call those things and i've got a video coming out on how to run a manual tuner and there are a couple of other videos online about how to do that kind of thing as well so please by all means wait for my video to come out and don't watch any of the other ones <laughs> but uh good advice yeah it's uh, so. Uh, what's the difference? So there's a couple of things. We've so we've got manual tuners mm -hmm. and automatic tuners. So they're fairly self-explanatory, as you've said. Manual tuner is when you've actually got to manually move the dials to to tune in the antenna and watch the meter, the SWR meter, trying to trying to get that as low as possible. Uh, automatic tuners do that automatically. So they go through and they'll they'll have a a, a set of uh, relays and 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 switches and things, and they'll go through and try and find yep. the 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 correct tune. And that's why when you press tune on your seventy three hundred or something, you hear it go click 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 click, and it's going it's all through the relays, all of the yeah. yeah all the relays trying to find the the correct tune. That's my favorite um, sound. <laughs> uh, when you uh, so let's explain what does you'll see on some tuning manufacturers can tune antennas three to one or ten to one or whatever. 20 to 1 SWR, et cetera. What, what's that mean? Yeah, so the, um, I like how you're making me the expert. This is fantastic. <laughs> so, so the, Don't worry. Wait. <laughs> back to you, Hayden. I have no clue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the SWR is what they call the standing wave ratio, and it's the ratio of the forward power versus the reflected power, as far as I'm aware. And so what you're doing is you're sending out 100 watts, and you're getting back the not the correct amount of power in return from what you're expecting and so your radio is is struggling and the more that that happens the more you're putting heat out instead of putting um instead of putting power out into the airwaves that you're making contacts with and again back to the car metaphor it's kind of the same thing where your engine creates a lot of heat to the point where it actually needs to have a cooling system to cool it down and your radio creates a lot of heat to the point where it needs a cooling system to cool it down because you're wasting energy that could be going into the airwaves by having an improper SWR. When you put the antenna matching unit in, what you're doing is you're using a device that's more efficient at matching the antenna and also matching the radio. And so your radio is able to put all of its power into the matching unit, but it's still not able to put all of its power out into the antenna. So you're, you're making your radio happy, but you're not necessarily making better contacts. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you're forced, I suppose, to use an antenna tuner because you might have a situation where you don't have the ideal setup as far as an antenna is concerned. You've, you're, you're restricted in what you can use. Some people who run portable, they have limited setups and what they can carry. Uh, the, I suppose the NFED is probably a good example if you've only got if you've got a 40 meter NFED and you can't get it on certain bands or resonate properly on certain bands if it's you know two to one two and a half to one then at least you can press that tune button on your radio and it means you can mm -hmm. then use that antenna it's not necessarily going to work as good as a resonant antenna but it should still work to some degree and you can make contacts with it yeah, um, and it's going to make you a little bit happier. It's going to make your ears a little bit better when you've got that match in place. And so you'll be able to pull out some weaker signals that you wouldn't normally be able to pull out or, or get through some noise because your radio is a lot happier. Um, and it's also going to make your operating a lot more fun. So don't think I'm, I'm down on tuners or antenna matching units. Definitely, definitely use it if you have it. Um, or if you have an antenna that's what they call a compromise antenna, but at the same point, don't expect it to 
magically perform better because you have a tuner in in mm. real radiation terms. I mean, it's going to perform better for your ears. It's going to perform better for making contacts with than without it. But at the same time, it's not as good as a resonant antenna. And good luck getting a resonant antenna for every single frequency on every single band. So enjoy yeah. your tuners, folks, is really the point I'm trying to make.